As World War II continued, Switzerland turned its boastful thoughts toward maintaining its economy and issued propaganda stamps urging cultivation of all available land for food and reclaiming of all used materials for recycling. The latter, so-called salvage issue, included a different stamp in each of the three official languages. These three stamps appeared satenate in sheets of 25 containing 12 in German, 8 in French, and 5 in Italian, as shown here. The stamps are arranged so that no two in the same language appear side by side. As the tide of World War II turned and advancing American troops in Italy pushed the Germans northward, Switzerland closed its border with Italy, thereby isolating the Italian town of Campiona d'Italia, a small enclave surrounded by Swiss territory on the eastern shore of Lake Lugano. Unable to obtain Italian postage stamps, Campione's new anti-fascist resistance government received permission from the Italian legation in Bern and approval from the Swiss Postal Administration to issue two series of its own in 1944. These stamps were valid for postage within its own boundaries and to Switzerland. On this cover to Bern are examples from both series, the first showing the Campione's coat of arms and the second showing various Campione and Northern Italian scenes. These stamps remained in use until 1952, when Campione began using both Swiss and Italian stamps, depending on the destination of its mail. The conclusion of World War II in 1945 brought forth one of Switzerland's most attractive and famous sets of stamps, the Pax issue, named after its Latin inscription for peace. With these three high values from the series, the great Swiss stamp engraver Carl Bickel created masterful designs that surpassed even his own many earlier philatelic works. The crocuses, gnarled hands of his mother folded in prayer, and heads of his mother and father are universal symbols of renewed hope through peace. Satanet and Tetbeige stamps are common in Switzerland and for a very good reason. The arrangement of sheets containing both types enabled the postal administration to make maximum use of the sheets for the production of booklets with panes of six stamps. Five years after booklets first went on sale in 1904, the Postal Administration had worked out the printing arrangement shown here to permit the use of 90 out of the 100 spaces in a sheet for stamps. The left-hand salvage served as the margin needed for stapling the first three vertical rows into booklets. The blank fourth row provided the margin needed to bind panes of stamps from the fifth through seventh rows. Because the 8th through the 10th rows were printed upside down in a Tetbeich arrangement, the right-hand salvage became the margin for binding these into booklets. In 1918, the Postal Administration introduced sheets with stamps in two denominations. The resulting satenet panes allowed booklets with combinations of stamps needed to meet several current postal rates. To prevent counterfeiters from using the blank roll from these booklet sheets for printing stamps, the Swiss Postal Administration at first punched a circular hole in each blank. Since this was a hand operation with a metal punch and hammer, the holes are irregular in circumference. Later, the Postal Administration perforated the blanks down the middle and finally adopted the current procedure of printing zigzag lines on them. In 1949, the Swiss Postal Administration issued a definitive series on technology. Its 12 stamps show a variety of engineering feats, most of them associated with the country's waterways and mountains. The two here relate to Switzerland's postal services. The 15 centime stamp portrays a powerful rotary snowplow used to keep mountain roads open in winter, and the 35 centime stamp shows two postal buses approaching a hairpin curve from tunnels on a mountain road. Switzerland's postal buses serve two purposes. Most of them provide the postal links with the otherwise isolated villages high in the mountain valleys. Since 1937, a few have served as mobile post offices to help handle the large quantities of mail sent by visitors from exhibitions and other special events. These stamps were issued in 1937 and 1953 for use by the mobile post offices. The postcard shows one of the specially equipped mobile post office buses in the 1930s. Special cancellations applied by the mobile post offices at special events 
came into use in 1937. Accompanying these cancellations are cachets that identify and often illustrate the events. The circular date stamps designate the mobile post offices that process the mail. For example, the early postmarks at the top contain the number 1 in their circular texts. The lower examples show postmarks from mobile post offices 2 and 3. Note also how the cachets progress from the simple two-line text in red at the top to the much larger and more elaborate cachets with pictorial elements. Several other distinctive types of modern cancellations exist on Swiss mail besides those applied by the mobile post offices. Making up one major category are the special postmarks authorized for use in different local post offices for limited periods to commemorate local events. The first appeared in 1850 for a federal shooting match in Geneva. The top cover shows the special postmark for the 1946 annual Swiss Day of the Stamp observances held in Sion. Another category of cancellations comprises the Swiss publicity postmarks, a series of large circular pictorial hand stamps issued to different towns that pay for them to help publicize their tourist attractions. On the bottom cover is a publicity postmark from Unterbach, which mentions the availability of sport, recreation, and rest at this mountain resort. Many machine cancellations also have appeared on Swiss mail since 1911. These fall into several groups, cancellations containing no words, those publicizing the country's postal, telephone, and telegraph services, those with slogans urging participation in events or programs for the benefit of the public those advertising Swiss resorts and tourist attractions, and those commemorating special events, including expositions, anniversaries, conferences, music festivals, and sports competitions. The examples here, from top to bottom, show a German cancellation for the 50th anniversary of the rapid, safe, and comfortable Swiss National Railroad, a French cancellation urging observance of a day of hunger, and an Italian cancellation instructing letter writers to use postal zone numbers. An extensive messenger and monument series of stamps began to appear in 1960. The lower denominations illustrate early Swiss means of forwarding mail by foot messenger, pack mule, and horse rider. The higher values show architectural landmarks in each of the 22 cantons. Stamps issued in 1963 as part of this series were the first in Switzerland with phosphor coating for high-speed sorting of mail. These and subsequent phosphorescent stamps are distinguished by violet threads in the paper. Switzerland's well-known pro Juventuti semi-postal stamps issued to raise funds for youth programs have appeared every year on or about December 1st since 1913, with the exception of 1914. Proceeds from the surtaxes go to the pro Juventuti Foundation, a national organization formed to bring together more than 3,000 child welfare associations concerned with health and education. Similar designs have appeared on these stamps year after year, making long series that run in some cases for more than a decade. A great many of these pro Juventuti stamps show cantonal coats of arms, cantonal costumes, famous Swiss personalities, flowers, insects, and animals. Among the pro Juventuti issues is this butterfly sheet, which contains both satinet and tiffage pairs of two stamps from the 1953 set. The stamps are arranged so that when the sheet is divided into quarters, four panes of six stamps remain, each with a left-hand margin for binding them into stamp booklets. Each pane contains four red 20 centime stamps and two green 30 centime stamps. Equally famous pro patria semi-postal stamps have appeared every year since 1938 to commemorate Switzerland's National Day of Confederation on August 1st. This date marks the anniversary of the Declaration of Alliance in 1291 by the three cantons that formed the nucleus of the present Confederation. The surtaxes on these stamps provide money for the country's charitable, civic, and cultural organizations. These stamps also run in long series, with similar designs often appearing for several years in a row. Among the repeated subjects, have been places and monuments associated with Swiss history, different types of regional houses, Swiss landscapes, fossils, coins, church frescoes, and Roman artifacts.